Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at bracketing photos in Lightroom Classic. So here's an example of some real estate photos I shot out here in Los Angeles, California. I want to kind of show you what's going on here. So what a bracketed shot is, is we're going to be going from darkest to absolute brightest. And the reason we're going to do that is to capture all of the details here. So the reason we're going to want to underexpose here is to get all of, you know, this overexposed area in the windows. The reason we're going to underexpose here is because we want to be able to see all of the light here coming through the windows nice and evenly. And as we go up, you know, you can start seeing more and more of how the image is going to come together. OK, so obviously the reason we're doing this is to pull in all of the shadows, right? Because it's dark here. So we want to pull that in and we're going to pull more of it in as we complete completely overexpose this image. So what we need to do now in combining bracketing of photos is combine these five photos into one. Now, how we will do that here is we're gonna come right here down to this section and we're gonna actually come here and just highlight that. So we're gonna do is shift command on a Mac. We're gonna right click. We're gonna come here to photo merge, okay? We're gonna come to HDR. We're gonna select that. And we want to take off auto align and auto settings and the de ghost amount. Let's leave it at none. The next step we will do is hit merge and it will go ahead and combine those five photos into one so we can start working off of that. So it went ahead and created it. And here is the photo combined. OK, so now what we can do is actually bring that exposure nice and bright up. OK, so you can see that we've retained all of the detail. OK, and what we can do to bring in more of the detail here into the windows is come here to the highlights and bring that right down. See, so we can actually see what's going on here in the windows. We're going to raise the whites here just a tad. And we can actually, you know, kind of undo some of those blacks because we want to not have so much crushed blacks here in this area. The next thing we want to do here is kind of play around with the contrast, right? So you can see how that changes, right? I would like less contrast in this photo because we want to see what this image looks like. Now we're at negative 40, right? We can actually come down all the way here, but that doesn't look good. So let's leave it at about, I would say for my personal preference, about negative 45. So everything's looking good so far. One thing I do want to check is this white balance. Now, remember in my previous video to check white balance, we're going to come up here and we're going to select it. Okay. So we can pick a target location. Obviously that doesn't look good, right? So we want to test this again just kind of see what this white balance is like, right? And see what looks normal to our eye. And we can test it in different spots of the photo. Notice how it changes, right? So it just depends on what type of image you're wanting to go, you know, nice and cool, or we can even test this part, right? And obviously that doesn't look good. So we want to keep it a balanced photo. And now what I would recommend doing is just taking this by hand and kind of fine tuning it seeing where you want that see so this tint is way too much right so you can play with that and keep it at about let's just say negative two just for an example here right and then go ahead and just lower this lower this lower this something around there now that's not going to be the final image but it's just a point of reference to fine tune that white balance right so now remember where we had come from is right here and now we are here okay now I'm just hitting backslash on my keyboard and that's how I'm getting that end result. Now we'll fine tune things in a little bit, but we're going to keep going through this image. Okay. So the next couple of things we want to do is actually look at all of these hue, saturation and luminance. So we're going to come down here to this adjust hue dragging in the photo. Okay. So we're going to touch that and we want to see what colors are actually in that area because we want to see see you can kind of tell how right that color is changing so we want to actually kind of just play with it and see what looks natural there now i'm actually going to go to the individual color and just kind of fine tune that something around there and you can notice there's a lot of greens right so let's try to go the opposite of that direction okay try to bring more yellow into that image now we're going to touch the saturations again come here down to this icon 
drag it, just sample it off of the wall there. Notice there's a lot of yellow it's saying. So we're gonna, again, kind of just play around. So look, you can remove all the yellow, right? Or you can add more yellow. Now, I'm gonna remove the yellow as much as possible because this is a real estate photo. Same thing with the luminance. Come here and test that spot once again, okay? Again, more yellow, right? So we're gonna brighten that up just a tad, just a bit, okay? Couple more things we're gonna do is we can actually look at the verticals here. So this photo is shot well. I actually, I'm just gonna see what this would look like. Uh, I corrected it just a tad. You can play with it. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on the image. Now, obviously look, you hit full, that doesn't work, right? So we wanna turn that off. We could hit auto, correct a few of the imperfections. Now, something I'm noticing here in this image, okay, is let me actually click off of this. I just caught this out of the corner of my eye. Notice this blue that's going on here at the edge of the image. We wanna correct this. So we wanna come here and we actually wanna come down to saturation and let's sample from that area, okay? So notice that, okay, it corrected that just a bit, but it also affected the sky, okay? Notice that right there. Look at that difference, okay? So we're gonna actually just reduce those aquas a bit. And let's look at the blue here. Now notice the blue, if we turn it to 100%, is actually down here, right? In the floor and here in the sky. So I don't want that much, right? And we don't want zero because it doesn't look real. So let's add only about, I would say, negative 26%, okay? That would seem adjustable from there. I mean, we can we can fine tune that in a minute. Again, this is not gonna be the final edit. I just wanna work through this with you guys. So we're gonna raise this exposure again, just a little bit more, just cause I wanna see what's going on. Next thing I wanna hit is the shadows, just a tad to see where this image is coming along, right? And obviously if we wanna raise it all the way, we can. I don't want all the way. I want about, I would say 70, eight, 79%, even 80 is good. And that's about where I want that image. So the whites, remember how I said in the beginning, we can raise them, we can also lower them too, but it's too soft of an image. So let's leave, I'm gonna lower these actually. Let's leave this at about a zero. Now each image is going to be different, so you have to fine tune this image by image. All right, so one of the last things we can do here is actually come down here to the calibration. So this is not always used, but we can look at it. So let's play around with the saturation just to see what this would add and what this wouldn't add. Okay. We can see, you know, it's the overall warmth of the image. And we're sitting at zero right now. So let's add a little bit, just a tad. Okay, now let's go to the green primary. Okay, you can see how that made a huge difference, right? So we can add, again, just a tiny bit. Let's say plus 18. Let's come to the blue primary. Okay, again, looks good. So let's add plus 35. Now, overall, I would say the image is balanced. There's a few more things that I would correct, but I hope that answers your questions on how to bracket photos. If you guys found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.